video we're going to turn this into the finished flywheel for the Stuart 10V. First job is to file off the edges so let's get started with that. I make this flywheel about 600 thou wide, it needs to be half an inch, so I'm just going to take 50 thou off this end here, across the face here, uh, and then start to tidy up this rim. I've attempted to grind my own tool bit for the very first time, and this is the result. Um, it's a lot smoother in facing than the carbide tool, and this is a really smooth surface. The, the radiusing on the outside um, isn't quite as smooth, but still, still at least better than the carbide, so I'm just really pleased with that. I can't believe I switched away in the first place. So we've actually only got six thou on the diameter to come off. Or do we? So here's the mandrel. I've attached it with some uh, Loctite anaerobic thread locker um, and I'm now going to mount that in the collet and this end in the center and I'm going to machine these outside faces. I've now got this mandrel in here. This is rung onto it. Very very tight fit. Uh, I've center drilled the end of the mandrel and I'm supporting it with a live center. If I turn it on hopefully you can see 
that there's a higher level of concentricity on this side and although everything's wobbling now um, and there is a, uh, a lack of concentricity on the other side uh, and that's because I'm using the tapered bore which is using the bore of the flywheel as the datum and uh, this is how I'm going to get it looking good. I'll take that one tenth of a foul. I'm calling it. This is the finish on the flywheel. I'm sure it could be better, but that's good enough for me. I'm bored of polishing. So now the last piece of work is to face off this inside face of the boss on the inside face of the flywheel. It needs to be 3 sixteenths of an inch in from the, uh, the edge of the flywheel here. So I've touched off onto the edge here and then now I'm using a dial indicator and I've wound it back exactly 3 sixteenths of an inch and um, plunged in and taken a cut off the face of this boss Before removing this from the arbor, I'm going to centre drill and then drill the uh, grub screw, drill and tap the grub screw hole. Um, there is no angle for this other than it going through this boss, kind of yeah, angled towards the, um, the centre of the flywheel. So. This is my first attempt at using a gas torch and uh, I'm going to try and break the bond of the Loctite using this.
Here is the flywheel off the mandrel, turned on both sides pretty concentrically. I need to clean this up a little bit and just tap that hole that I drilled. And then that concludes the cast iron part of the 10V. So all the major structural components are now complete. So now it's down to things like the crankshaft, the bearings, eccentric, the valve, fun times. So.